a cry all my life till I met you, girl. It's simple, oh, you're really cruel. You never see me when I want you to. You got me gone, I got you too. If you're scared, I'll come to the rescue. You know I'm falling in love, girl. I'll pick myself up in the whole world. The way you move, I'm shivering. It's a sea of love that I'm drowning in Well, you don't know, I'll make it clear You got someone who loves you dear I know you're scared, afraid of love But I'm here to make your heart rise above Little say, little say, little say on my mind Little say, won't you choose me? Little say on my mind Little say Hello angels! In today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve this Victoria's Secret bombshell inspired makeup look. I've noticed a trend with the model's makeup. I know that they definitely still have that bronze glow and those pink cheeks, but their eye makeup has been definitely more subdued than in years past. So this is the exact look that I'm going to show you. So that is the exact look that I'm going to show you here today. So if you're interested in seeing the exact products and the techniques that I use to achieve this look, then just keep watching. Oh, and did you hear that I've officially earned my wings? They just happen to be right here. Others say that they are actually on my back, but those are just the nice people. <laughs> All right, let's jump right into the tutorial. I've already applied both my foundation and my brows, so if you would like to see those tutorials, I'll have them linked in the down bar down below. So today I'm going to start with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This one is an NC35, and I'm going to swirl around with my Bedellium Tools 959 brush. This has a beautiful tulip shape, so it really works well for bronzing. But I'm going to stop here in just a second because my lips were so dry that I really needed chapstick, and I used this cute Hello Kitty one that I picked up from Target. It is actually really, really amazing, super smooth, and it lasts a very long time. So what I'm going to do with this bronzer is I'm going to put this into the hollows of my cheeks as if I am contouring, but then bring it up onto my cheekbones slightly, and I'm going to work it onto my forehead and along my jawline. This makes it really bronze, but it still gives a nice contoured effect as well. The angels are always super tan, so what I'd like to do is also bring this down onto my collarbone and also along my neck so that there isn't such a harsh contrast between my face and my body. Believe me, this really does help. Next, I'm going to pick up this adorable blush by The Balm. This one is called Down Boy, and it's the perfect pink tone for this Victoria's Secret angel-inspired look. I'm going to grab my Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush, and I'm going to pick this up and place this right under the apples of my cheeks and work backwards. I'm applying blush the opposite way than I usually do because it's definitely the apples of their cheeks that are very emphasized. Then to ensure that my blush stays really soft and blended, I'm going to pick up my Morphe M439 brush and really smooth it out. Then to get those shiny yet very natural looking lips, I'm going to use a combination of these two products. First I'm going to use CoverGirl's Jumbo Gloss Balm in the color 225, and then I'm going to follow it up with Soap & Glory's Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick in the color Nudist. On to the eyes. I already primed my eyes with the two primers I have listed below, but here I'm going to pick up Beauty Rush's Gold Rush Eyeshadow, and this is Elizabeth Mott's Shadow Brush, and I'm going to place this all over my lids, carrying it up slightly onto the crease. Using the same brush, I'm going to bring this into the inner corners of my eyes to really give that bright inner corner highlight, and then I'm also going to pick up the same color with my fingers and really emphasize it on my lids. Moving on to ColourPop's, this is Cornelius by Kathleen Lights. This is a gorgeous shade and it's perfect for that barely there yet very gorgeous caramely toned brown shade, and this is definitely what those angels are rocking on the runway. So I'm using my Sigma E25 brush, and I'm just going to work this in windshield wiper motions across my crease, connecting it to the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to blend out that shade using Sigma's Blender Brush. 
I'm again going to pick up Gold Rush with my fingers to really make sure that that color is sparkly and shiny on the lids, just like theirs. Then I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and dip it into Max Handwritten Eyeshadow. I'm going to use this right along my lash line to create a nice smoky effect. Oh, and try not to poke yourself in the eye, it is a little painful. Then I'm going in with that same blender brush to smoke it out a little bit more. These are the next three products I am going to be using, but first I'm going to grab NYC's eyeliner pencil and I'm going to use this on the outer two thirds of both my upper and lower lash lines. Using this in combination with that shadow liner before will really create a sexier eye look. Then I'm going to really open up my eyes using Benefit's Eye Bright on my lower waterline. Then I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then use Rimmel London's Retro Glam Mascara. This is a pretty darn good dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Just saying. And then it might be time for a little bit of a dance break. This is the danger when I play music during tutorials. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply some very natural lashes using Revlon's Precision Glue, and I'm going to use this Sephora eyelash tool, which has saved me many a time when I have tried to apply these. So I'm going to use Salon Perfect's Perfectly Natural 53 lashes. These are super natural, but they really do give your lashes a boost. If you would like to learn more about false lashes and also see an in-depth tutorial on how to apply them, I will link that video right there in the corner. And when you're waving around your lash, make sure that it didn't drop down because that doesn't really help the drying process. So anyway, I'll just go ahead and apply this one too. Then for their signature luminous glow, I'm going to use What's Up by Benefit. I'm going to place this right along the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and definitely on the apples of my cheeks. This is where you really see that light reflect and it looks gorgeous on them when they're on the runway, so this is a step you cannot forget. Okay bombshell, here is your completed look. Now go flirt with some boys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked what you saw, please clickety-click right on over there to subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see other videos by me, I have a few of them linked right down there for your convenience. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you have other video suggestions for me, please leave them down there in the comment section down below. Alright, my angels, I will see you next week in my new video on Friday! I love you all dearly! Please clickly click right on over there. You can subscribe after you've seen me. You can look at me. All right, I think we're done here. <laughs>